Well, what's up, YouTube? Capital G here, and don't worry for anybody who's about to start complaining. This will be the last Cubic replay that you guys see on my channel for some time. I will say this, though. I'm glad that I brought a little bit of notoriety to the Cubic archetype because I feel like outside of the movie, no one knows what the fuck Cubics even are and what they do. And those last two videos, even though they got a lot of backlash, I mean, it's almost like 70,000 views between those two videos. So, I mean, that's good, man. I'm seeing a lot of people get more interested in Cubics as an archetype. The deck is still super cheap. I'm even thinking about picking it up myself and this replay is just another one that shows that if you give cubics even one turn they can easily kill you i think the main card that they just have to be able to summon is the uh the crimson nova the dark cubic deity because this card just does so much damage i mean it essentially is a bls a double attacker but then it does the 3,000 burn damage during the end phase which almost is like it's almost always enough just with this card alone to kill your opponent and you know this is a card right here in dimensional barrier that was not ran in the other version of cubics but i think maybe it should be because what this card does against decks like fluffles and zodiac beast is it just kind of gives you one turn you could throw metaphors in that mix if you just flip it over and call pendulum the only thing they can really do is i guess fusion summon at that point i mean they can exceed but not like super consistently you know what i mean this is a card that just kind of guarantees you'll see your next turn and then ideally after that you can just kind of otk them and i don't know i i enjoy these type of replays guys just seeing cubics like explode because i still find them to be a very very offensively potent deck now he does kind of i don't know if this was like a panic move he activates dimensional barrier like the second that he sees the fluffle dog i think maybe he didn't want him to keep going or something like that but he could have just waited for the polymerization but you guys are going to see right here and honestly i will say this he drew the perfect card he drew he drew the deja which obviously this is going to get him the um that that, that gets him the foolish burial it gets him the carmen the grave which is basically a free rota from there he can summon the cubic uh crimson deity and he's able to you go know, instant fusion basically just ignore the maxi and then he's able to go for utopia the lightning activating cubic aura he's able to take the uh the nova to 6,000 attack in addition he's able to cut the fluffle dogs attack in half and you're just not going to escape this type of otk um i believe he he kind of butchers it though i think he attacks with utopia the lightning to get it to 5,000 attack but what he should have done was he should have attacked with nova if he attacks with fluffle dog or if, if he attacks the fluffle dog with um with nova then this obviously can attack twice i mean it's an otk either way there was like no chance that this guy wasn't going to die because he, this this card basically would have been able to attack twice, 6,000 attack. The Fluffle Dog, I think, was only like 850 attack. So he would have took in um, well, almost 6,000 twice, and then he would have taken 25, and then there would have been that 3,000 in, during the end phase. But he basically wouldn't have even gotten to the end phase because in battle phase, Cubics do well enough damage to just end the game. But anyways, this was just a really cool replay. It just shows you that one turn is kind of all you need for Cubics cubics to kind of explode and i don't know it made me think about dimensional barrier and it's like huh this card should maybe just be a staple in cubics because it just kind of buys you a free turn don't get me wrong he did have to pretty much like top deck the perfect card but as long as he had crimson nova and uh, aura he was going to otk him like that was pretty much a win he didn't even need like this utopia the lightning like those two cards were enough to get the job done so anyways let me know what you guys think if you guys did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and uh thank you guys for watching as always